So, so I just want to make a video to say why do people argue in relationships? Why is there conflict? And also to talk about soulmates and spiritual relationships. So the number one thing that I've learned why people argue and fight in relationships, it's clear. It's because they're both fighting to be loved, cared for, respected and, and listened to. And often to feel understood as part of being listened to also. So when one person feels disrespected, not cared for, not loved, dismissed, neglected, abandoned, betrayed, not listened to, not understood. This creates a lot of upset and frustration and other things like those type of emotions. So then obviously that person will respond fighting for to feel loved and cared for and respected and honored etc. And so obviously they will now be behaving in a way that's more usually unloving, unrespectful, uncaring to the other person because they're fed up and annoyed and they're not acting from their highest heart at this moment because they're hurt and they're usually not fully understanding the reasons behind the other person so they're now attacking, blaming, accusing, belittling and talking about how much the other person is lacking and how bad and awful they are so then the other person obviously then launches a counter attack, a counter strike. Now both people basically are just hurt and all they want, like a little innocent child, is to be loved and cared for. And that's all, basically speaking. So can you see the remedy? Can you see the can you see how we go in circles hurting each other each other? And I know it's like, it can be so difficult and challenging, especially when another person we fear being awful. So this is where we're learning, we have to learn. I say that the health of or wellness of a relationship depends on the inner work and the healing of those two people involved. A soulmate and a spiritual relationship is when we, we, we don't look to complete one another, but we look to bring our own completeness to benefit one another. It's not, it's not a codependent, attached, needy, clingy relationship, an energy vampire relationship where you're living from lack of consciousness, desperately trying to feel fulfilled and happy from the other person, needing them very badly like a drug or an addiction. And those codependent relationships, it's based on fear of the other person leaving fear of being on your own again, being afraid to be single, controlling and deceitful games to try and manipulate the other person to stay, to keep them in your little box, so it's like captured in a cage. Lots of us are in challenging relationships. I'd say the difference between what some people might call a wound mate or a soul mate a wound mate is when you're, you're just hurting and triggering each other's shadow and pain from the past, but you're not consciously looking to heal and to grow. If one person is ready to heal and grow and look at things honestly, take responsibility and accountability for their mistakes, and, and then to change and to grow, learn and to blossom and to, to change and to love, and to open up, to be honest, and the other person isn't, well then, you know, it's time probably to say bye-bye. But often the, other, often the other person is, and in a spiritual relationship we'll often learn that we have learned quite a lot, even if we get fed up. But there's just some, a lot more to go, there's still a long way to go. And that's where I recommend not only consciously looking at yourself, but also to get outside help from counsellors, spiritual teach healers, energy healers, psychic healers, etc. Any form of healing modality which can get your subconscious and deeper your subconscious and deeper wounds, issues, cellular memories, 
from your tra traumas from your childhood that, that haven't been easy for you to access see feel realize or to deal with that's where energy healers or psychic energy healers etc come in really handy and they've helped me in my life a lot so do both angles the inner work that you do and then the outer help and you'll make more progress this is what's helped in my relationship myself and my partner are polar opposites we've had a lot of issues and challenges we've both grown a lot there has been conflict in the past I do not blame her and she does not blame me we both take responsibility and accountability we tried our best this is what happens we try our best we fail we learn we fail we make mistakes we learn we learn keep learning keep trying new things and if you're in a downright if, if, if you'll know trust yourself trust yourself I've said goodbye in, in relationships in the past I've let we've let I've had breakups you'll know yourself you'll know so soulmate relationships spiritual relationships yes they'll trigger you for your healing but uh, one of those relationships where it's just plain out plain crap or there's no learning or growth or expansion you'll feel it and you'll know and then there'll be the universe will give you an opportunity to leave if you're fully fearful you may you won't be ready to leave but if you're wanting badly enough if your desire is strong enough then you'll take take leave and get out of that relationship and another one better will come along maybe it'll be hard the next one but just it'll be a learning relationship like me and my partner Sally now so so that's all I can say, just hope for you and stay empowered, stay, stay fit, strong, healthy, positive, optimistic and remember you bring happiness into the relationship, bring wellness into the relationship, bring fulfillment, get yourself happy, get happy, get, 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 get career or job satisfied, get satisfied, get, get happy, do things that make you joyful, blissful and excited every day. Make bliss, happiness, excitement and, and feeling alive, tuned in, turned on, eager and enthusiastic about life. Get, get this way in your life and then bring it to your partner and they'll be thrilled. Don't, don't be all grouchy, grumpy, moping around. That, that'll only sap the relationship. You need to take conscious responsibility and accountability for your life. To get happy. Get happy guys. Life is a gift. Life is a blessing. Each day is a gift and a blessing. Stay, stay awesome, stay beautiful and bright that you are and we all are. Lots of love, take care and see you next video. Bye now. One other thing that's very important in relationships is to know your needs and to know thyself. So know what you need and know yourself and then help to try and listen and understand. Talk less, listen much more. Listen to your partner. Listen deeply what they have to say. Look at their body language. Look at their face. Look and listen deeply. Be less intellectually engaged and more heart. Be more present. Men like to fix things quickly. It's in their nature. Women don't want you to fix their problems. They want you to listen and be quiet. They want you to, they want to be able to talk and express their bad day or what went wrong or what somebody did, their feelings, whatever their feelings are, without you interrupting with a solution, a, a problem-solving problem mentality, a mindset of fixing the issue. Women want you to be present with them emotionally and physically in the room with them, in front of them, maybe hug them, to be there, not up in, the, in your head and somewhere else in the clouds. That's what women want. And, 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 and men, men sometimes don't like to be told what to do as if they're incompetent or incapable. That's in the male psychology. They want to feel trusted that they can solve their problems and challenges. Not to be belittled or demeaned or they'll feel this way if you, if you try and tell them around what to do. But women can want, want to nurture their partner and they might give suggestions. But just be careful, they're very friendly and kind, open suggestions and that the, the man doesn't feel belittled as if they're incapable because men can be triggered this way. So listen and know the need 
friends have the feelings of your partner more as well, okay? And then negotiate with love, respect, honor, integrity, and care. Be very diligent. Relationships take a lot of effort and practice and energy, okay? So it's like riding something, playing a sport. You get better with practice and you have to keep practicing carefully and diligently, okay? So I hope that video helps. Take care now. Have a good day. Bye.